The 100% electric Black Duck Cobra propellers are innovative electric variable and constant speed pitch propellers of the latest generation achieving optimized performance for all phases of flight. They benefit from carbon, titanium blades and a carbon, aluminum hub manufactured using duck propeller technology. The aerodynamic shape of blades uses the innovation design of the Tiger propeller. Oh, Weihnachten und Ostern auf einmal, was ist hier angekommen? Oh, wie schön. Jetzt kann's losgehen. The Cobra range of propellers is the first to have been developed for aircraft with a power rating of over 150 horsepower. Due to its size and strength, it is capable of handling power ratings from 150 horsepower to 315 horsepower. Its unique high efficiency design is optimized for direct drive engines. These propellers allow to have high efficiency throughout the flight envelope that is, high efficiency during takeoff and high climb rate, high efficiency during cruise and maximum speed, high user comfort and high efficiency during landing. Equipped with screws in grade 5 titanium, this technology and manufacturing level and requirement degree have never been to this advancement. This carbon system hub for variable pitch propeller allows a wide range of angle variation but keeps safety thanks to the mechanical safety stop. The leading edge of the blades is composed of a metallic shielding in nickel, cobalt. This material is a super alloy including nickel, with a very high hardness of the surface. The angle pitch is adjusted manually or automatically with the constant speed fly box instrument. Also, a visual indicator of the pitch is provided with the propeller. The power and the command of the variable pitch system are fully electric. They have to make everything new. Everything again. Grease on the bushings. Yeah, grease on the bushings to prevent corrosion. If you check, we have small spot of corrosion because humidity. So this is zero tolerance bushing. Yeah, that's zero tolerance bushing, that's right. You're gonna have even small gap because it will create a vibration. Yeah, out of the 200 horsepower. At 3000 RPMs, yes, yeah. <laughs> that's not good. So they have to fit really, really tight really tight the bushings are the one that make the forces that's why many many pilots they tie too much the propellers they put too much torque to their bolts uh, and they're stupid it's not the ball that makes the, the job yeah the one that is making the job is bushing uh these six things so our life depends on this six this six, six uh, bushing plus the centering bushing yeah they make the job of the turn the ball just keep the propeller on the place just keep it there, that doesn't go away. Okay, and this one is a centering disc. We have a bushing against the hub. It's a side two. Ah, okay. Ah, huh? uh, side, okay, yeah. Of a C flange and a center to the prop. Hello. And create this one, increase the friction surface. If you see here, if you have, if you see here, I will take it out. If you just check, fris friction surface between the prop and the hub are this. Okay, yes. Only this is the friction surface. Yeah. Okay, so these are the connecting parts between the, the forces between the propeller and the hub. Okay, if we put this, we cover the, these holes, and at the same time, we increase the surface a friction between both. So that one makes that the forces don't go in only one point, it split the more places to split forces. So this is the surface of communication between the prop and like the hub, a, like a it is increased. Like a clutch. Like a clutch, exactly. As the Tarragon aircraft project progresses in the cold hangar with plenty of coffee and chocolate for the mechanics, the culmination of meticulous planning and precision engineering is about to be unveiled. In this installment, witness the transformation as the new Duck Cobra Black constant speed propeller is seamlessly integrated into the aircraft's design. With expertise honed through years of dedication, Sergio's hangar workshop team ensures a flawless installation, setting the stage for enhanced performance and efficiency. Russia.
This carbon fiber is too heavy. One point nine meters, almost two meters of the car. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, the electric wiring is meticulously installed and calibrated, preparing the aircraft for the dynamic adjustments required mid-flight. Every detail meticulously attended to, every component calibrated to perfection. This is mine. So this one should go the outer. Yes, not this one, not this one. And the red one. It is here and should go to the center. Here, yeah, not this one, not this one, just the center. Okay, that one we agree. So, now let's check here. Which one could be? Okay, this one is the plus, it's the one close to here. Increase RPM, max pitch light off. Uh, main pitch, pitch light on. Okay. Uh, go. Uh, uh, RPM drop test. Drop test. And then touch probably. Oh. No. Okay. That, that is a few seconds. Oh. If we have 15 here or around 7.5 is the center, so the center is going to be around. Now, as the cowling is seamlessly matched and secured, the Tarragon aircraft rolls out and stands ready for its next chapter. Join us as we witness the culmination of innovation and dedication. Stay tuned for the unveiling of the newly upgraded Tarragon aircraft as we soar to new heights of aviation excellence. Stay tuned for the ground testing experience coming up in the next video of Sergio's Hangar. Division Fly, the Sky Monkeys. As the first test pilot Sergio climbs into the cockpit of the Tarragon aircraft for the initial ground testing with the engine running. Will the systems perform as smoothly as they do when stationary? In just a few minutes, we'll have our answer. Master. Yeah, we have the Avionics. Yeah. We have the flybox on. Yes. First we need to make some parameter settings. And uh, you might need the uh, ECU. First I do the parameter settings before I lose them. So I press a little bit the button. We go to setup. In setup, we press again, and we go to the second option. In the password, we set the password to one zero. Wrong password. I have a few seconds again, and we go password. Password one two two zero. So we go to the la latest one that rpm ratio that 030 is for four cylinder engine and we need to change this value for 060 that is for six cylinder engine so we change it to 060 so now we go done and we're back so
It will turn out that the constant speed function, which adjusts the propeller blades based on thrust, isn't functioning perfectly, and furthermore, the control range needs to be adjusted, because the factory preset initial adjustment is set too aggressively, meaning the pitch angle of the propeller blades is too small. So, the mechanic crew will work on fine-tuning the desired settings in the next steps. Until then, it's all about trial and error, testing repeatedly to get it right. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. you say i was ground testing but uh, we need to check on the prop uh electricity for any reason is not arriving electricity between the controller and the propeller This day, the lieutenant will conduct some test runs on the ground, as the weather doesn't exactly invite us to take off as you might guess. Further adjustments will be made to the propeller control parameters and the mechanical pre-settings, so there should be nothing stopping us from a first test flight tomorrow. Okay, I'm going for test run now. Uh, Idle is 9.30 and we're up to 3,000 RPMs so on uh, takeoff.
900, around 900. It's a little bit when it's warmer, it's a bit higher. And uh, full throttle is almost 3000. After successfully completing the ground tests, the comrades treat themselves to a hearty dinner with Captain Mad. Tomorrow, we'll take to the skies.